guys! Today I'm actually doing a Mommy Monday on a Monday, which doesn't really happen that often anymore. I had something exciting to share with you guys and um, it's kind of important. So um, if you haven't already guessed by the title of this video, I'm pregnant again and I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Um, I feel like crap right now and I have been feeling this way for the last couple of weeks, but it's all good. It's, um, I'm told that it's the sign of a healthy pregnancy, so it's all for a good cause. <laughs> but um, I'm definitely really, really excited and really happy, and I can't believe that I'm doing pregnancy vlogs again. Like, that's insane. My symptoms are, like I said, nausea. I've been feeling so nauseous the last, like, couple of weeks. Yesterday, in particular, was a really hard day for me. Um, I just felt sick, like, the whole time, and just, even if I was hungry, my body was like not allowing me to eat because it just felt sick every time I even smelled food, you know? So that's been tough and I feel like it's worse than last time but I don't know if that's just me kind of making that up and or forgetting. You know how you kind of block stuff out that's bad. Um, the other thing is the fatigue, the tiredness. So I know that people are always like, oh in your first trimester you're going to be so fatigued because you're actually like making the placenta it's like the most almost the most important part of the pregnancy is the beginning even though you're not showing or anything and so um I remember from last time I was so exhausted but this time around I'm breastfeeding as well and I'm doing it about two or three times a day sometimes more because she's waking at night and it's just kind of like I don't know can she sense that I'm pregnant or what but um, I'm talking about Amelia now. <laughs> I didn't even say her name, but yeah, Amelia. I don't know if she can sense that I'm pregnant or not, but she's just been waking in the night, so it's probably a little bit more than that. But um, yeah, so I'm completely exhausted, like so fatigued. All I want to do is sleep, and um, it's just so, so draining. But um, I'm hoping to wean her by her birthday, so um, and then by her birthday, I'll be into the second trimester anyway, so. Hopefully I'll get my energy back, but um, it has been tough. So I think those are the, oh, and the acne. So I got pregnancy acne or hormonal acne last time around, but I got it a little bit later. Um, this time around, it seems to have cropped up earlier. Maybe I'm remembering this wrong. I have to go back and watch my pregnancy vlogs, but um, I have it like all over, I have it on my chin, jawline, um, up here as well, but it's like, Okay, today it's okay, but like over the last few days it was getting to the point where it was sore and painful and that's not nice. Um, another thing that I had was bleeding gums. When I brush my teeth and like spit out the toothpaste it comes up red. So that's not nice, but um, I didn't get that last time I don't think. At least I don't remember. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, as far as like knowing whether it's a boy or girl, I have no idea, obviously, um, but I, I have no feeling. Um, last time I kind of thought it was a boy and of course I was wrong. So I think this time I just, I have like no preference really. Um, of course I think that it would be nice if Jonathan got, you know, to experience having a son but then at the same time I don't know if I would be ready to have a son like I don't I don't know the first thing about boys so um, I don't know I have no idea I honestly would be happy with both and I mean that like wholeheartedly when I first found out I was pregnant um, like three weeks ago I just I didn't care I was just like I'm gonna love whoever this is so much and I, it was just so emotional I could not believe that I was pregnant like I just could not after that negative test I couldn't believe it so I think that's everything. Other than that, I don't have any cravings really. I've kind of been craving like healthy foods and fruit and stuff like that instead of like unhealthy foods. And But I've been having days where I feel like so nauseous that I can't even eat or days that I'm like starving and I'm like ravenous. So that's kind of, oh, it's like all over the place. Um, oh yeah, so my weight. Okay, so my start weight, I completely forgot about this. My start weight was um, lower than the last time. It was actually 114.8. So I'm just gonna say 115 because I personally feel that that's a little bit low for me, for my body. I just think that I am better off when I'm kind of in between 115 to 120. That's like my natural kind of weight. Um, and 
after I came back from the holiday, I think just because I had been sick and things like that, um, I think it dipped a little bit lower. So um, that's kind of too low for me. I just think it's not really healthy. So I have gained weight since then, so I'm happy with that. Um, so since like three weeks ago, um, I'm now 117. So I'm happy with that because I think that's just a healthier weight to be at. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna say my start weight was 115, <laughs> but um, my start weight the last time around was 117, so I'm up there now, and um, I'm happy with that, like I said. So my height, by the way, is 5'4". I used to think I was 5'5 five, five and a half, but then I was measured the last time I was pregnant, actually, in the hospital, and <laughs> it was only 5'4", so I don't know, did I shrink, or maybe I was measured wrong the first time around, I don't know, but um, yeah. So those are my kind of measurements. I will be doing bump updates on my blog as well. So check those out um, if you want to see pictures of the belly. Um, and I'm going to do a bump shot now. Okay, so here's the belly for eight weeks. Um, I think I, I don't know. I think I'm showing a little bit more than last time around. Um, but you guys can let me know what you think. I think I am a little bit. I think that's because the uterus is like already being stretched out, so it kind of knows what it's gonna do. But um, that's the belly. I have goose pimples. It's cold. That's the belly for eight weeks. So that's it for this week. Um, I will be doing these updates every Monday because my weeks change over on a Monday. How crazy is that? Like just like last time it's so weird it's like this pregnancy is going like clockwork just like the last one it's weird um maybe that means that it's another girl i don't know but um so yeah thank you so much for watching this video and um be sure to check back next week for my nine week one and i will talk to you guys in my next one bye